Hello, today we have with us the Llanelli Plaid Cymru candidate for the 2016 elections, Helen Mary Jones. Hello. Hello. So you've worked for the people of Llanelli and the people of Wales between 1999 and 2011 as an Assembly member, but what has been your motivation? What, why did you get involved in politics? Well, I grew up in quite a, a political family and there were always lots of debates and discussions a, about politics. So I suppose I grew up thinking that politics was the way to put things that I saw were, were not right right. Um, and I started my working career as a teacher in special needs. I then did lots of different jobs in youth work, community work. And so often when I wanted something, you know, for the young people, I'd go to, say, my head teacher at school and he'd say, oh, I can't decide that. And I'd ask the governors and I'd go to the governors and they'd say, no, it's up to the council. And then the council would say, well, no, we don't, we can't do that because the national government says this. And I eventually sort of thought that, that it was through politics that I could make a difference for people, and I, and which is what I wanted to do. Um, and I was hugely, hugely lucky to get elected mm. in 1999. I had the opportunity to, I think, work hard for people in Llanelli to help. Mm. What is a really, Llanelli is a really kind of active community with lots of people doing lots of good things. And it was my privilege to support some really important campaigns around health, uh, some really important opportunities to protect and bring new jobs to the area. Um, so I had to think long and hard again about having lost the election in 2011, mm. would I stand again? And I suppose it's the same reason, again, I work in youth work now and again I can see so many things that young people need and so many things that our communities need in Llanelli and across Wales uh, and we just need a government that can deliver for us. Mm. So that's what I'm hoping to be part of next year in 2016. Yeah. And why did you stand to, why do you choose to stand for Plaid Cymru now? Well, my family were a, a Labour family. My, mm. my grandfather was a, a Labour County councillor. Uh, it's probably just a story, but they used to say that he would have been a, a candidate, an MP candidate, except that he did, would never have a drink and he wouldn't canvass in the pubs going back mm. into the 1920s. And that was over in Aberdare. My dad was a Labour Party member. So you would think Plaid wouldn't be the, the natural choice for me. But in the end, Plaid Cymru is the only party that can put Wales first. All the other political parties in the end have to answer to their bosses in London. And I believe in many ways that Plaid now stands for the kind of values uh, about looking after people who can't take care of themselves, about the weak, sharing with the strong, all the sorts of things that my father and grandfather believed in when the Labour Party really stood for something. Those values in Wales are represented by Plaid now. And in the here and now, we've had a Plaid, we've had a Labour government for well, 15 years in the Assembly and our health service isn't getting better and our education isn't getting better and that's got to change. People in Llanelli and people in Wales deserve better than that. And why have you chosen to stand here in Llanelli then? Well, my first, the first time I was selected here in Llanelli, I, I didn't expect to be. I, I put my name forward because I was, was, it was a seat that Plaid was hoping to win, uh, but I didn't think I'd get selected. But once I was, began working in Llanelli, it, it's back to really what I said earlier. There are so many people here working so hard for their communities to try and change things. So many families really struggling, working hard to make the best of what life they can for themselves and their families. And I just really, I suppose I, I, I got very engaged with the place. It, it, it wasn't my home to begin with, but it feels like home now. And I really believe that our communities deserve better representation than, than, than that they have had. I believe that we, they need a government that can concentrate on bringing jobs, on improving our public services, getting our health service working for us. And you've been conducting surveys, taking them out to street stalls and canvassing. So what are the three most common issues that you were hearing on the doorstep? Well, of course, there are different local issues in, in, in different parts yeah. of the constituency, and it's important to hear so that we can respond to those. But the things that are coming up all the time are the economy, jobs, mm. especially good quality work for young people, um, the overall state of our public services in Llanelli, and most important of all, the health service, People are really concerned about the future of our health service and something's got to be done. Plaid has got some exciting plans going into 2016 for our health services uh, internationally and, and nationally. We want to get rid of the expensive local health boards and have one hospital board for the whole of Wales so we get rid of a postcode lottery in services. We want to bring health and social services together so that people get the care they need without having to worry about paying for it. We've got a plan to recruit a thousand new doctors and retain them here in Wales. One of the issues that comes up a lot uh, in the community survey you mentioned, Brett, is access to GP services. And some of that is just because we haven't got enough GPs. So we've got some practical, sensible plans 
for what we believe can be done to really transform public services in Wales and across the Nathalie. And I'm really enjoying putting those ideas across. Thank you for your time. Thank you.